Welcome to the Oriental Medical Digest. We live in a world where a couple of pills can take care of all sorts of aches and pains. Over-the-counter painkillers are easy to come by and may provide immediate relief. However, doctors strongly warn patients about the addictive tendencies of these pills if taken regularly. Oriental medicine looks beyond the symptoms and tries to treat the cause. Today, we'll look at treatments for migraines. Oriental medicine accepts the theory that the six elements wind, cold, fever, fluid, dryness, heat penetrating into human body would cause illness. The difficulty of curing the migraine is due to this complication of the elements. Dongi Bogam writes migraine as Duban Byon Tong and Yodu Banan Tong. Duban Byon Tong is symptom which occurs in one side of the head. Yodu Banantong is symptom of coldness and pain in half side of the head. In the case of migraine, the cause of the pain vary according to the occurrence of the pain. The reasons for the migraine in the left side of the head divides into two sectors. First, it is due to false action of wind element in a human body. And secondly, the deficiency of blood caused blood circulation disorder. It is obvious that the patient with the migraine in the left side of the head should be treated by a therapy which produces blood and eliminates the unhealthy energy. There are a lot of interesting looking things here. Can you explain to us what these things do? This medicine, called samultang, is used for either migraines in the left side of the head or the deficiency of blood. So there are four ingredients. Can you tell us what each of them do? Of the four different herbs here, one of them is called sukji huang. It produces blood. The next one is called tangui. It has a pleasant odor and has the same effects as sukji huang. And these two other things, what do they do? This herb is hyunge, used in the prescription samultang, and is used to remove the bad element of wind. This is the herb known as pangpung. It is also used to remove the bad element of wind. Therefore, it is important to use both hyunge and pangpung for the migraines in the side of the head. For a person with the migraine in the left side of the head, usually feels cold in the bone. If she or she exposes in the wind, the symptom is also found commonly with the menstruating woman. In this case, kami saburtang is the most effective medicine. There are two reasons for migraine in the right side of the head. First, oriental medicine finds the element identical to the heart reacts to negatively. Secondly, dom is cause of the pain. Dom means abnormal change of internal fluid. It is important to bring fever down and to get rid of dom for the migraine in the right side of the head. Mint is effective for cure of migraine in the right side of the head. It discharges heat. Sungma, like the mint, is used for removal of fever. In many cases, migraines are caused by abnormalities in other parts of the body. Most migraine patients suffer from discomfort in the spine. Hand pressure therapy is often prescribed for migraine patients. This treatment, known as the toying method, does not use any medical apparatus, just a set of skillful hands. Let's find out more about it. The cause which cannot be neglected for migraine is a disorder of spinal arrangement. 
If there is a spinal disorder, the pain is caused by pressing on the nerve. In this case, Doin method can be applied. Toin therapy is applied through a massage to the muscles on the back of the neck. Its emphasis is on the kungji hyal. There is this point of massage and also the ashi hyal, a point of pain due to the strained muscles. Ashi hyal is not an oriental medical name but represents muscles which have stiffened and caused pain. This is what is known as the Ashi Hyal. The muscles become relaxed and pain is alleviated. This also refreshes the head. By this Toin method, migraines can be alleviated. To cure migraine, the most effective method is acupuncture to stimulate the blood vessels. The blood vessels related to migraine are Soyanggyeong and Damgyeong, and by applying acupuncture on these spots, the pain can be reduced. The method of treatment in oriental medicine for migraines places emphasis on the acupuncture points in the head along the line of the blood vessels known as Soyanggyeong and Damgyeong. Sajukgonghyeol is found at the end of the eyebrows, and by applying acupuncture to this particular spot, the pain can be reduced. Taeyanghyeol is found about 1.5 centimeters from the Sajukgonghyeol, and this spot is also effective for relieving migraines. The Taeyanghyeol, when used for migraines, is an especially effective acupuncture point. Pungjiheol is found right below the jutted bone on the back side of the ear. After applying acupuncture here, pain and tightness of muscles can be relieved. Finally, the Weguanhyeol is found 4 centimeters above the wrinkle of the wrist. This acupuncture point, known as the Weguanhyeol, is known to bring fevers down. To improve the method to support therapies such as moxibustion and suction cupping should not be neglected. For the migraine, the moxibustion therapy eliminates the wind element. Also, the suction cupping therapy loosens the blood clot which caused the migraine. You may have experienced headaches from skipping a meal. This is caused by a drop in the blood sugar level. Good eating habits and a regular lifestyle are the most fundamental rules for a healthy life. This is all we have for today. Thank you for joining us and see you next time.